Hi guys, welcome back. So this is my current configuration of my pedal board. I'm trying out two new digital delays, the Strymon Dig, which is meant to emulate the 80s rack style delays, and the Strymon El Capistan, which emulates essentially a tape uh, style delay. Now I've got them both set up for very similar sounds, exact same timing, just using a single delay repeat. I'm gonna turn on my blues power to add a little gain and the golden reverb set to a, a kind of a darker plate sound. And I'm just gonna play the two delays and we're gonna go back and forth just so you can hear them. Just to get an idea of the tonal characteristics of the repeats, how the repeats fade out. Let's listen. So what I'm hearing in the dig is that the repeats are pretty linear. They trail off in a very even fashion. And then the EQ of the repeats in the dig is very bright and clear. Um, whereas in the L cap, I think the EQ is kind of more mid-rangey in those repeats. They kind of build up and kind of make a fat sound. And then the way the delays decay is a little bit less linear. It kind of builds up for a bit and then trails off which is more like a tape style delay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some chords. I'm just gonna let the chords ring out so we can hear the modulation of each delay. The dig has got the deep modulation set on and then I've got the L caps wow and flutter about noon. Let's check that out. <laughs> Much like the digs repeats, its modulation is very light and airy, and I think it does a good job of kind of giving you a chorus-like sound with your delays. Now the El Cap's modulation, its wow and flutter, I think it's meant to emulate tape echo style drag. And so what it does is it gives you a little bit of irregularities when that modulation is happening, but I think that's actually pretty nice. And I think it gives you a good, interesting character to uh, add on top of your delay essentially. Now we've been listening to uh, both delays set very similarly, but what's nice about the dig is that it's really a dual style delay. You can set it to have a second delay on top of what we've been hearing. So we've been hearing the dig in series this whole time, which basically means each echo is coming out of both sides of uh, your speakers that you're hearing. Now I'm gonna set the dig to uh, essentially parallel style delays, which is going to give us one delay over here and a second delay time over here, and they'll bounce against each other in a nice way. So let's check out that. All right, so that should give you a good idea where these delays start to divert from one another in terms of their user functionality. The dig is really easy to dial in dual delays. You've got everything on the front of the pedal, so you can dial in the delay times of each delay, the mix, uh, the repeats, pretty easy to do. The L cap's gonna be better for more kind of uh, atmospheric, oscillation-y sort of delay use. I think if you're into like Radiohead or Portishead, you might wanna lean towards the L cap. They both can function as regular delays, great. They just have their own tonal characteristics, which you've heard. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a little bit with uh, my loop pedal, the blooper, and we're gonna hear both of the delays in action.
That should give you a good idea of what you can do with both of these delays in tandem. Uh, I had the L cap before the looper and then I had the dig after the looper, which is probably not how you would typically run this, but that's just how I've got it set up right now, given the limitations of my board space and whatnot. But I hope you enjoyed that look at these two pedals. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you soon. And if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to try to start doing more of these demos. And uh, if you would leave a thumbs up, that would be great. Thanks. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.